hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous videos uh, related to biomedical instrumentation and measurement system we discussed about the recording electrodes uh, the characteristics of uh, the electrode skin interface and the factors which influence the biomedical signal measurement so in this video we are going to discuss about the electrodes, the type of electrodes that are used for uh, the bio, the biomedical signal measurement, and uh, especially for electrocardiogram. Okay, so the two electrodes in specific which we are going to discuss is the limb and floating electrodes. Okay, so first of all, what is uh, electrocardiogram? I've already posted a video related to it, but still. Electrocardiogram is the recording and measurement of the electrical activity associated with the functioning of the heart. Okay, uh, it is a periodical and rhythmically repeating signal which is uh, synchronized with the heartbeat. Okay, and uh, the amplitude range of ECG is from 0.1 to 5 microvolt, and frequency range is from 0 0.05 to 120 hertz. And uh, I have already posted a video related to this so there is no need to go any further you can check out the video uh, about electrocardiogram I also posted about electromyogram electroencephalogram you can check out those videos too now the electrodes that are used for ECG now why the selection of a particular type of electrode is important for a particular biomedical measurement because of various things you know we have already discussed about uh, how ele recording electrodes can influence biomedical measurement particularly the interface that comes into play the characteristics of the electrodes the electrode skin junction electrode electrolyte electrolyte skin the type of electrolyte which is to be used and all those things the polarizations, skin contact impedance, motion artifacts. So for all of those reasons, the selection of electrodes is very important. Now the electrodes that are commonly used for electrocardiogram are limb electrodes, floating electrodes, uh, Welsh cup electrodes, pre-gelled disposable electrodes, pasteless electrodes, capacitive electrodes, air jet electrodes. Okay, So these are the electrodes that are used. In this video, we are going to discuss about limb electrodes and floating electrodes. Okay, uh, we will be discussing each of these electrodes uh, in pairs in separate videos because if I combine them in one, it will create confusion. Okay, so first is limb electrodes. So, this electrode, as the name suggests, it is uh, suitable for application in the four limbs of the body okay arms and legs okay now generally these electrodes are made up of, of german silver uh, and uh, an alloy of zinc copper and nickel okay and by the four limbs what i mean is this okay the point of application of these electrodes is uh, on the four limbs the two legs and the two arms so the point of application and the notation okay is in this way left arm right arm left leg and right leg so the acronym ll rl la and ra the electrodes are connected to these four points and uh, there are various other things associated with it which are not needed right now. I will discuss it in a separate video which is about how these uh, electrodes are uh, connected, the vectors, the signal vectors associated with it. So, we will discuss it in a separate video. So, now for now you understand that these are the four points of application of the limb electrodes. And uh, these limb electrodes are generally uh, designed okay they are in the form of clips okay like this see like just like the clips that we used for hanging clothes the drying the clothes okay which we use 
or uh, paper clips just like that the design is similar to that and uh, they are uh, generally made of, of as i said german silver and an alloy of zinc copper and nickel with elastic straps for so that it is comfortable to wear or to uh, to to connect and these are the lead wires that are connected to get the signal and feed it to further signal conditioning processing and output display so the various features that are associated with it is that the skin contact impedance associated with this uh, limb electrodes it ranges from 2 to 5 kilo ohm generally it is of the order of kilo ohms okay that is important now the size of these uh, limb electrodes is generally of the order of 3 cross 5 cm okay and uh, the electrode jelly or paste is used to achieve contact at these straps okay this you see these straps which are used it is held together to the body to the specific body part the legs or the arms by electrode jelly or paste and generally they are used for the monitoring of the ecg electrocardiogram signal during surgeries okay and at that time the patient's limbs means the arms and legs are immobile because of the anesthetics anesthesia is given to the patient so his uh, legs and arms are immobile so there is no problem of motion artifacts okay the motion artifacts are unnecessary signals because of the body movements so at that time the limbs are immobile so there is no problem of motion artifacts now the next electrode which is used for measurement of ecg is the floating electrodes now the floating electrodes uh, they are basically uh, light weight uh, screens or plates okay metal screen or plate which are placed at uh, the specific part or uh, location to record the electrocardiogram signal around the chest now an important characteristic of these floating electrodes is that they do not make any direct contact with the skin or the uh, upper layer of the body because uh, in between these electrodes and the skin a flat washer okay that is placed and because of that it does not make any contact with the body and because of this special feature the problem of motion artifacts is reduced to a great extent because this washer absorbs the effects due to the body movements okay it absorbs those effects because of the body movements and also it uh, absorbs the moisture because of sweat perspiration it uh, absorbs that because it has a uh, good uh, absorbing capabilities capacities and because of that those problems of motion artifacts perspiration sweat that is reduced to a great extent and it does not require any electrode jelly for adhesion and uh, the contact impedance of these uh, floating electrodes is generally about 50 kilo ohms so this is also in the order of kilo ohms and they are made of of silver impregnated silastic rubber okay so they cling on to the specific body part easily because of this uh, washer and does not require any electrode jelly for adhesion and they are very comfortable to wear and uh, can be used uh, for monitoring physical movements okay because the motion artifacts are reduced they are used for monitoring the electrocardiogram during you know during exercising or any physical activity because uh, while uh, doing anything any physical activity to monitor the electrocardiogram signal these type of electrodes the floating electrodes are used now this is the design of the floating electrodes you know it is in the shape of a plate and we have the contact surface which consists of a flat washer okay which absorbs the effects of motion artifacts and sweat because of perspiration this is the lead wire which 
measures the electrocardiogram signal and the voltage or current is fed to the further uh, signal conditioning and processing circuitry okay so here we have discussed about the two types of electrodes okay two electrodes that are used for measurement of electrocardiogram first the limb electrode and second the floating electrode okay so we'll discuss about these other electrodes uh, in separate videos okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much